What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your sixth tutorial in robotics and electronics. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called a resistor. Now what a resistor does is pretty much limit the flow or resist um, electric current. And this is useful because A, it prevents waste or pre prevents you from wasting electricity on parts you don't need to send it to. And it also allows you to deliver like specific amounts of electricity to the parts you need. So there are a couple things. Let me show you guys what the resistor looks like. Actually, I got two right here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Maybe if I put my hand, there you go. That's how small they are. See, there's my finger now. So that's how small they are. So they're really small. And that brings me to the first thing I want to talk about. When you're looking for resistors, there's a couple things you want to look for. The first thing is size. Now there are a bunch of different sizes, but the three probably most common are half watt resistors, quarter watt resistors, and um, something called a surface mount resistor. Now a half mount resistor, I mean a half watt resistor, excuse me, are what I just showed you right here. And believe it or not, these are the biggest resistors of the three, and these are probably the biggest resistors in size that we're going to be working with. So um, for these tutorials, I recommend you get uh, half watt resistors. Quarter watt resistors are a little bit smaller, but um, for the purpose of showing you these tutorials, I chose half watt resistors. And if just don't ever get surface mount resistors unless uh, I tell you to, because they're a whole different thing, and you won't be able to use them at all. So remember, when you're buying resistors to follow along with me, make sure to get half watt resistors. That's the size of them quarter watt smaller surface mount totally different thing the next thing you're going to come across when you're buying resistors is something called tolerance now what tolerance is is pretty much um, the company's margin of error now most resistors I think uh, at least the ones I've seen they have a 5% tolerance and what this pretty much means like I said margin of error if you have a 100 ohm resistor and re remember resistance is measured in ohms this means that the company says it's 100 ohms, but it could be anywhere between 105 and 95 ohms. So 5% tolerance means it can be um, anywhere 5 or 5% 5 greater, 5% less, or anywhere in between. So that's what tolerance means, just the kind of margin of error it tolerates. And of course there are uh, more precise uh, tolerances, like their 1% tolerance. But we don't need it for this tutorial. Our robot's not going to know the difference. And also, the more precise you get, obviously, the more money it costs to buy your resistors. So, pretty much in summary, um, most parts, or pretty much every part I can think of right now in our robot, it needs these resistors because, um, the what, how am I going to say this? Many of the parts of your robot weren't exactly designed to take the full force of a 9 volt battery. So that's why they made resistors. These are extremely cheap, probably the cheapest part of your, they're like pennies each. So go ahead and pick up some half watt, 5% uh, tolerance resistors. And in the next tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually test these resistors and make sure they're working with the multimeter. So don't forget to uh, buy your resistors and make sure to check out the next tutorial where we will be testing these with the multimeter. So make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.